Hey everyone, Stacy here with Paper House Productions. I am excited to share my first design team project with you. Um, this week I created a little video so you could see what I have done. I did make instructions for my trifold inserts that I will um, link on the, on the blog post, so be sure to hop over to the blog and check it out so you get the measurements on where to score the paper and, and what size to cut them. This week I used the Stargazer Collection along with the Journey Book cover, the violet one, and the Stargazer Journey book insert set. So we, I got the violet Journey Book cover and then the two inserts that I ordered to go with this Stargazer collection. It's a Stargazer Journey book insert set. So here's one of them. The other one I actually have inside of the book, so I'm just showing you this. But super cute way to do journaling or add pictures or document any event or trip or whatever you want to do. So inside of this book there are two elastic bands, kind of like this closure here that keeps the book closed. There's two elastic bands inside. One of them I have holding the extra book and then the other one is holding in the insert that I created. I'm kind of a mini album girl so I love to create different ways to um, put different places to put pictures in. So I wanted to combine the journaling and the journey book with a way that you could add pictures to it as well and have it all in the super cute um, book. So inside on the first elastic band I've created a trifold way to um, share and store your pictures. So you open this up and you can see the stickers and the pattern paper. I used a lot of the washi tape. Um, but so inside this main main part you um, see I did a tag here, added some fun twine to that. Um, place here for a photo. You can create your photo mats any size you want. If you do smaller pictures or bigger pictures, you know, depending on, on how you want to do it. So then this middle part, the flap comes down. And I'm trying to scooch this up here so you can see I have room here for another picture. Then here I created a fun pocket with two photo mats. So those can slide right into the pocket on the inside. And then one of the fun um, pieces of paper, I just kind of tucked that in there. So on this left side here, the flap flips upward. I'm going to close the middle one. So this one flips upward. You can see I did another tag here at the top. Again, another pocket for some photo mats. So you can put all your pictures in there. Then on the second flap is the second um, book. So you can do all your journaling about your trip or event. You could add pictures to this if you wanted to, if you didn't have enough room in the insert. You could always add more flaps into the insert to add more pictures. But in the back of the, the albums here, there's this fun little pocket. So I thought, what better way I could do a smaller version of that insert so that you could store more pictures of your event. So again, this one is just a smaller version and it's more um, horizontal than vertical. So you open up the inside and the flap here goes to the left. I made just a mini little pocket here. Uh, I placed a photo mat inside, the little tag with the cute saying. Um, for, the, for this one, I was gonna leave this as a photo mat, but I really like that Dream Big sticker, so I decided to put that there. And then on the bottom, this flap opens to the right Again, another photo mat here and here. Um, you could add flaps coming out the top or the bottom of the actual flaps that are in the inside. And then you can just fold it up when you're done and have it all decorated with all your photos in there. Okay, I just wanted to show you a real quick how to score your inserts. Super quick, super easy. You've got this piece of cardstock here that's 12 by 6. You're going to score it at 3 and a half and 7 and 3 quarters and then it simply folds up to make your your base. You'll do this the same way with the larger one, just different measurements, but again, um, I have those uh, a PDF on the blog post, so you can check that out. And then you're gonna take your flaps, and it's going to be a six and a half by four. You're gonna score just a half inch of it. Um, 
before I adhere it, I miter the corners so that way when you're putting your pattern paper on there, um, you don't have to worry about it being squared and your pattern paper maybe not lining up correctly. So you open up the insert. You're going to take your flap. So my, my half inch scored pieces to the left. You're going to adhere it to the left side in the middle so that way when it opens, it'll open like that and you'll do the same thing down on the lower part on the right hand side so that one will open to the right. And then you'll just adhere your pattern paper and decorate from there. And this is if you wanted to add additional flaps, like if you wanted to add a flap maybe coming up this way, you could go ahead and cut that and adhere the flap to this. Same if you wanted to do it on the middle part before you add your pattern paper. And then these little pieces here, the little half inch that are adhered to the base are hidden. Stick it inside of the back pocket so now you have an extra way to store photos to go along with your journaling for a fun event. I hope you enjoyed my first project. It's been a while since I made a video, so sorry. It's probably, I probably stumbled and stuttered over the video, but I promise it'll get better. Um, next month, I am playing with the collection Where the Wild Things Are, so be sure to stay tuned for that. I have a fun mini album um, completely from scratch in mind, so if you want to make that mini album with me, go ahead and hop over to the site grab the paper collection where the wild things are, the stickers, the washi tape, um, have some cardstock on hand, and be ready to go. It's going to be a good time. Uh, till next time, happy scrapping!